I I, uh, keep rolling, Kiana. Start it right now. And don't show that earlier scene. <laughs> I have two generations of E-Class wagons here. And I want to show you some brief comparisons between the two, primarily with the engines. This car here on my left is a 1989 300 TE wagon. It's a W124 chassis, and it has the straight six gasoline engine. The car here on my right is a 2000 E320 wagon. It's a W210 chassis, and it has a V6 gas engine. Now, I know right away I'm going to hear this uh, from now till the end of time, there are people out there that literally think these straight six Mercedes engines are the best ever made. And, you know, they're better than the V6s. And then, of course, you know, it goes on and on. And, you know, I know, by the way, I know some real old timers that feel that the Model T Ford was the best car ever made. So you're never going to win the argument. There's different ways to, to uh, you know, to attack the the question, but it's highly subjective. It really is. What is, what qualifies for something being the best engine ever? I mean, uh, what's the criteria? Is it how it looks? Is it how it sounds? Is it the kind of gas mileage it gets? I mean, you can't just say, oh yeah, these engines and these are way better than these engines. And you know what I found? This is just, of course, my very humble opinion, but that most people that like that really like these old straight sixes, whether it be the 103 uh, single cam engine or the 104 twin cam engine, uh, they haven't lived with the V6 very long. They've, they know people that have owned them, they've looked at them, but maybe they've owned these cars for 20 years and haven't owned one of these, so obviously these are better. So, you, you know, you, you have to be a little careful when you say, well, this is better than this. Even I am not going to say in this video that, well, this car or this engine or, you know, this air filter is better than this air filter over here because, once again, it's subjective and it is open for debate. But I just want to show you a few differences, and you'll probably get a little implication from me of where I'm headed with this. But after I show you some of these things, then I'll let you make your own decision. Here's a close-up of the M103 gas engine. You can see it's it's pretty straight. <laughs> it's a straight six. It has a single camshaft that runs right down through here under the valve cover. It has your cast headers here on the side. Spark plugs are easy to get to, easy to remove. Uh, the distributor cap and rotor are located right here behind this cover. And then underneath this air filler, you have the CIS Bosch and fuel injection system. Um, and it's pretty complicated. And then back here, you have, here's the access to the oil filter back here for removal and replacement. And then engine accessories are all down in here, kind of hidden. And this is where the 103 engine is really lacking. If you've ever had to replace a water pump or a belt tensioner, you know exactly what I am talking about. But the big thing about these engines are the problems they have with head gasket leaks, both here and in the back, and they leak oil. This is a cast iron block engine with an aluminum head and a magnesium front cover, and it's largely due to the dissimilar metals and the different expansion and contraction of these metals that cause these head gasket oil leaks in these engines. It's almost like every 100,000 miles, you've got to replace the head gasket. This head gasket has been replaced, and you can see how clean this is on this particular engine. Here is the M112 V6 engine right here. I've removed this top cover so you can get a better look at it. This engine was introduced in the U.S. market in 1998 in the E320s, and I think this is a great engine. I believe personally that this is the first engine Mercedes produced where they really thought about the mechanic. They thought about how long it would take to do the common service and repair work that would needed to be done on these engines down the road. Here's the air filter. Very easy to access, can be changed with a few clips in just a few minutes. The front accessory access is, 
is probably the one of the best I've seen on any engine. You can change the serpentine belt in just a few minutes. You can change the tensioner in a half hour. You can change the water pump in an hour. And it just, it's so easy to work on. Uh, you know, the, the oil changes are so quick and easy. Now, granted, spark plugs are not as easy to get to as, as the straight six, but I really like this engine. It is all aluminum. It's a hundred pounds lighter than the M104 engine. It's more fuel efficient. It runs smoother and it has what I feel is a better torque curve and is much more drivable. So I guess I kind of told you where I'm at. I'm sure there's some of you who may argue with me out there, but suddenly I've become a real fan of these uh, V6s. If you ever get a chance to drive one and haven't driven one, I would recommend that you do it and you can decide for yourself.